All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna play today with a budget weakness deck. So this is the B Sharp Galvantula Evolution deck, uh, basically made to counter all of the uh, popular decks in the format for the weakness. Um, so we're gonna start with one copy of Eevee. Now, more than that, looks like that's gonna be it. I don't see the sign of the basic Pokemon on my opponent's side uh, in the opening hand. Um, there is a Mega. All right, so playing versus Yon Mega, you should probably say, well, you need Flareon. Unfortunately, no, you need um, Jolton in your bench or Galvantula simply because um, they are actually weak onto the um, lighting Pokemons. Uh, kind of surprisingly, but yeah. So, Eevee versus Yanma turn one. Of course, my opponent with advantage of the Force of John Plants um, can actually have easily that Yan Mega break, even Yan Mega uh, turn one in play, no doubt about it. Um, so, Ultra Ball for one Fighting Energy and Professor Sycamore. This might be also um, Yan Mega featuring. Uh, not 100% positive sure if it's a Passimian, but it might be. Um, however, I really like the fact that he already have that. Shamini X in his opening hand, but also one fighting energy is attached to the Yanma, which is kind of surprisingly here. Uh, but of course, you really want to play a setup for as many cards as you can. So there is a first Nas Ball, um, it's gonna be for Anguru. All right, just fine. That's just Perfectly fine, and there's a V Seeker, which is gonna be for Professor Sycamore. And actually, Sycamore for seven is pretty decent here. Um, all right, so do do another Fighting Energy and Double Core's Energy with the Mega Break discarded. Um, energy Keeper Carbink. All right, well played. Basic energies cannot be discarded from your Pokémon to play. So my third. My top deck is Jolteon, which is nice. Um, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna play my Trainer's Mail. Oh, nice, it's gonna be for the level ball. Um, I guess I should first play my level ball just to see if I have my Octillery, but looks like I have one. So I'm gonna just set up my Pawniard here, um, put my energy on it. After that, I'm gonna play Another level ball, which is gonna be for another Pomniard, and it's actually time to play that floatstone. Even I don't want to do that, but let it be floatstone to my Pomniard and pass my turn. You know. Somehow I actually don't feel comfortable about playing this turn um, and putting second pony at play. Maybe I should just go with another Eevee Feather on the bench and uh, keeping my Floatstone maybe for Remorite. Um, but it really doesn't matter. There's a double Core energy attached to, uh, to the Oranguru and uh, Sycamore for 7. Revital Laser and second and Mega Break discarded here for my opponent. So there is also one Yan Mega. Okay, so let's see what he can do right now. Um, without four cards in his hand, unfortunately, he can't use Assault Beam. But even if he can use Assault Beam, that Assault Beam can go for only 50. And that's not even enough for the one hit knockout against my um, Pawniar. However, on the other side, he can grab two Yan Mega Breaks. And he can have that Yan Mega break in place. So right now, if he had double course energy, he can't attach it to Yan Mega since he already did that to the Oranguru on the bench. So I might just escape from this um, situation right now without uh, being knocked out. But there is one Ultra Ball, which means he can discard two cards from his hand and grab one card. Then he can have actually four. And then he can go with the... Um, barrier break for like 100 which he probably might don't want to do uh, but yeah he decided to go with barrier break and right now I actually have my 
Pomniard and I'm also gonna have that B sharp. But mo most importantly, I also have the timer ball maybe for artillery. Um, one heads, one tails, perfect. So let's just grab that artillery, put it into play, then I can play my Jolteon, and right now my Bishop can strike for like 180, but before I do that I'm gonna play my Abyssal Hand. I'm gonna attach my Bursting Balloon, and most importantly I'm gonna also play my... Oh no, if I play my Hex Maniac I'm not gonna have to retaliate for one hit knockout. Yep, that's the disadvantage. That's the disadvantage, unfortunately. I thought to myself, well, maybe I can just simply play, you know, um, Hex Maniac and shut down his abilities so he can't go for the knockout, but I can't do that simply. Um, there's Oranguru. One energy attached to the Oranguru can actually provide him 80 damage counters, which is still not gonna be enough against my Bishop. So if he strikes for like 80, that's gonna be the max damage that he can output right now with the Oranguru. Of course he can have that instruct for one, but that's gonna be it. So instruct for one. On the other side I have my N, but I also have... Um... Oh, interesting, he decided to retreat, maybe there's gonna be the Judge. If there's gonna be Judge, actually, he can go with the Assault Beam for like 110. Mm, there's a Bursting Balloon, alright. And Sycamore for 7. So there's still plenty of options for my opponent who goes down to 4 cards, so he can maybe just go for the knockout against my Bishop since I have attached the tool. Um, yeah, Mega Break can actually provide him the knockout, but also just a regular Assault Beam will be enough for the knockout. And then I'm actually gonna be in a problem. So simply he can grab something like a Mega Break right now and goes for like a knockout, but then he's gonna take 6 damage counters back. Alright, fair enough. I'm thinking about just maybe playing a Hex Maniac if the top deck is gonna be good for me. Speaking about good top deck, I need something like a level ball. Not a Darkness Energy, that's not good top deck. Let's roll with the end for now. Five new cards, hopefully there's gonna be something that can be playable, that can be played. Um, just a Joltik, which is not the best card, not the worst card, still I can have my Abyssal Hand for like two. More than that, looks like I'm gonna pass my turn. Um, I wish I even have something like a uh, Bursting Balloon, so I can, you know, just attach it to my Octillery maybe and retreat my Jolteon to him. But it's okay. There's a Revital Laser, which means my opponent can take right now Yan Mega and one more Yan Mega Break. What I'm gonna need here is definitely going to be Hex Maniac with my Galvantula, so I can simply snipe my opponent shaming and uh, and then mega break for like a 60 on the bench this is literally the only thing i can do right now but the problem is that he can go for the knock even against my jolteon right now and i don't have my pomniard on the bench and i'm not gonna have that retaliation for the knockout so speaking about assault beam um there we go 120 I guess he's gonna grab V Seeker. Floatstone does not to make too much. Uh, Floatstone just don't make too much sense. Oh, he decided to go with the Floatstone actually. All right. Top deck is a bursting balloon, so finally something good. Ah, eh, tell you one thing. Let's go with the Sycamore for seven. Definitely more cards to find. Uh, much more cards to find. So, there's a Trainer's Mail. What else I can find with my Trainer's Mail? Um, I can find one more level ball, which I'm definitely gonna grab. So, that level ball is gonna be for... Um, one more Joltik. So, I can have two in play. 
The second one is gonna be for something like uh, Eevee. You know, you really want to get as many cards as you can. And then I'm gonna Beazle Hand. So, a Beazle Hand for like three cards. There's a Flareon and Silent Lab. So, finally, I managed to get something important and good here Stadium. So, Double Tread. This attack does 20 damage to two of your opponent benched Pokemons. Of course, Shaman and his and Mega are in pretty bad position right now. So, next turn, with my second Galwantula, I can simply nox out uh, Yan Mega and one of his Shamans in play. And I can do that without too many problems. But also, a problem for my opponent is that he can't go with the evolutions right now, as long as the Sun Lab is in play. So he can't evolve his Yanma to the Yan Mega break in just a single turn. On the other side, I'm gonna have also that Brock's Grid, so I can recycle my Pomniards, Bisharps, and others pretty easily. And there's a Lysander. So interesting that he just decided to go with that Lysander, probably from my Octillery. And I don't mind about that too much. Yes, it's gonna be for that Octillery, and it's gonna be the knockout uh, simply with the Barrier Break. Alright, two more prize cards for my opponent, five more for me. You can judge by yourself. How uh, bad is that? I think right now is just the perfect time to play my Brock's Grid. Actually, I don't need that darkness energy. I could maybe even just go with my Hex Maniac, um, but for now, that's just gonna be enough. Double Tread, so knock it against Shaman, knock it against um, maybe even better. Oh no, I can't knock out Yanma. So I can knock out another Yan Mega Break. Um, three prize cards this turn for me sounds like a crazy, but it actually happened. All right, so right now I'm down to two prize cards. After this turn, probably my opponent will go down to one. Um, I think I should actually play the Hex Maniac. So he can't knock out my Galwantula right now. Maybe that was the biggest mistake right now, um, but okay. Still, he needs to have like four cards in his hand available. As long as Silent Lab is in play, he's not gonna be able to do um, draw support. I see a Judge in his discard pile. He can always grab Judge and play with the V Seeker, but the question is if he have V Seeker in his hand because uh, one V Seeker is in his uh, discard pile uh, is in his. Um, Price cards and two are actually in the discard pile. So there's a bursting balloon and he managed to go down to four. Alright. He managed to go down to four. Oof, that's not good. That's not good at all. Come on, give me the timer ball or something like that as the top deck. Nope, just another silent lab. Um basically. I don't have too many options here, but maybe just to play something like a Hex Maniac or go down to one with the N. Yeah, I've really missed my Octillery and a Beazle Hand, but I can still maybe pull the Knockout here. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Alright, who knows what's the last card in my opponent hand. Maybe he just passed the turn here. And then I can be a seeker for Sycamore and grab seven cards. Um, who knows? We shall see. Oh, he drew a judge. He drew a judge, so that's gonna be the knockout. Um, surprisingly, didn't get the B didn't get the B sharp. If there was a B sharp, that young Mega Break would be knocked out, and that would be, that would be the end. On the other side, the reason why I decided to go with the end was simply because I was scared about maybe seeing another Yan Mega and four cards in his hand, so 
very bad decision very very bad decision so that's the GG